Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna learn how to extract the most common colors from the images and display the color count as well as the hexadecimal color code in a nice looking HTML table that you see here alongside the actual image. And we're not going to code the actual code that extracts the colors. We're gonna be implementing this class which you can download from the link in the description or by going to the my Patreon page. So we're simply going to learn how to implement the class and then we'll create a loop to go through all the images and display them in a nice looking HTML table. All right, so first let's go ahead and include the class colors ink PHP. And I'm also gonna go ahead and include the functions, which is a functions library, and that you can download from my Patreon page. Now navigate to any image directory and make sure it has some Im images in it. And go ahead and copy the directory. And we'll go ahead and create the variable image directory and provide the image directory inside the variable. Then we're gonna say images clean scan dir ing dir. So here we're using a function clean scan dir from the functions library and all it does is it gets the file name and puts them in a array. So if we print out images here we should get a list of images or image names Okay, so those are our image names, and now we're ready to work with the images. So first we're gonna instantiate the new object of the class using the new keyword, and then the class name, which is get most common colors. Also say how many colors we wanna extract. Also, let's go ahead and create a variable named columns, and specify how many columns we wanna print. So here we got three columns, as you can see, and we're going to be creating a loop that will uh, print out or display the records in exactly the same way as we did here in the multiple columns video. So this is the exact same structure of the loop that we're going to be creating to print out the images and colors. All right, so first we're going to create a table tag, table row. It's going to be outside the loop. Then we'll set our image ID count to zero so we can keep track of the images. Now we're gonna create a while loop and just say while true. So it'll create rows until out of images to display. So at this point the loop will go on forever so we want uh, an if statement to end the loop but before we do that we'll actually create another loop that will loop through the columns so we'll create a for loop inside the while loop set the column to 1 and if column is less than or equal to columns column plus plus so that will so this way it's gonna go ahead and loop through all the columns and we want to stop the loop when there are no more images available inside of our images array. And for that we're going to say if not set images image ID. We want to exit the loop by typing the keyword return. And now we'll just exit all the loops. Now if we're at the start of the column want to open TR which is a table row so if column equals equals one echo TR the next thing we're gonna do is print out table cell inside of the table row and here's where we're gonna be doing the rest of the class get most common colors class implementation 
So our instance is named ex. So here we want to say ex image, and we want to specify the directory of our image along with the image name. Next is the part where we extract the actual colors from the image. So we'll create a variable named colors and we'll say ex and we will use the function get color. And then we'll say ex and we'll use one of the methods of the class which is get color and that will extract the colors from the image. Now the keys inside of the colors array is what's actually going to have the hexadecimal value of the color so we're also gonna say colors key and we'll use the array keys function on colors and then we'll get the actual hexadecimal value from the color. One more thing is we're gonna create an image URL and we'll, we'll simply use local server path to HTTP function to convert our directory image name to HTTP friendly version. Say equal here. I actually made a mistake here. Forgot the dollar sign. So at this point we got pretty much all the data to start printing everything out. But before we do that, let's go ahead and print colors array. And we'll also print out the colors key. So you guys can see what's going on here so far. And don't forget to die so it doesn't go on looping. Let's view this in the browser. So here's our colors array. And as you can see, it's got the hexadecimal value for the key and the count, which is the count of the color inside of the image and then if we go down to keys we'll get the actual hexadecimal values so that makes it easy for us to now print out all the data inside of the HTML table alright so down here we're gonna go ahead and create a table close the PHP tag first table I'm going to go ahead and open up table row and this is going to be our table heading so we'll say call span equals 3 I'm going to close the table cell in table row and here we're just going to print out the image name and for that we're going to use base name function image URL and we're also going to go ahead and remove the extension with the remove ext function which is part of the functions inside the functions.php library so that will simply print out the image name inside of our html heading like you see here next we're going to print out the actual image so this is the actual table cell that will contain the img src to display the image go ahead and set it to align to top and here we'll say img src equals php echo image url alright and let's also go ahead and set the style set the width to smaller something like 150 and set the height to auto So that should display an image in a smaller size. And I actually forgot to open up another table row up here. So make sure to open another table row because we're starting a new one. Next is the table cell that will contain all of our colors. Let's go ahead and set the style of this table font size to zero because that will get rid of some extra spacing that we don't need. And inside of this table cell, we're going to have another table. So we're going to go ahead and open a table tag here. So it's a nested table inside the table cell. 
set the border to zero. And here inside of this table, we'll create a loop to print out all of our color data. And remember that how many is a variable that we set up here and it specifies how many colors we're extracting from the image. All right, so here we're gonna go ahead and echo out the HTML. Each uh, record is gonna be inside of its table row and table cell. And we're gonna go ahead and set the, and we're gonna set the BG color to the colors key, which is the hexadecimal value, HTML code. Let's go ahead and set the width to 100, height 16, close the table cell. Next is a table cell that will have the count of the colors. So this one is inside the colors, colors key. And the last table cell will have the actual hexadecimal value displayed. Close the table row. All right, so the first column prints out the color by setting the table cell BG color to the hexadecimal value. Next is the amount of matches of the specific color. Now uh, before we move on, let's go ahead and see if everything works because we typed a lot of code here. So let's go ahead and view this in the browser. And everything seems to be working. It's printing out the image name, the actual image, the background color, the count of how many times the color has been matched inside the image, and finally the hex value of the image. So everything's working. Now down here, I'm gonna go ahead and close the table cell. And we'll also close the table. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and close the table row if we have reached the max columns. So if column is max column, we wanna create an if statement. If column equals columns, which is our max amount of columns, we wanna print out a closing table row tag. And that's how it's gonna to know to end printing of the columns. And down here, we're also gonna say image ID plus plus so that we can go to the next image inside of our, so that we can go to the next image inside of our images array. All right, let's see if everything works. View this in the browser. And looks like something went wrong. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, so the mistake is here. The for loop should actually end all the way at the end here. So just put the closing bracket all the way down here and make sure the image ID plus plus is inside the loops. Let's try again. And now everything works beautifully and we have the image, the colors being displayed inside of the table cell background, count of the colors and the hexadecimal values and it's all printed in nice looking HTML tables. And that's it for this video. That's how you extract colors from the images and display them in a beautiful looking HTML table. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.